We're off roading. We're froding. Hi, everybody. Why you aim so high? Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Bronco. Um, hold on, please. Okay. Hi. I'm in a Bronco. I'm in a four-cylinder Bronco, and normally I'd be like, no, oh, it's just a four-cylinder Bronco. But here I'm happy to report that the engine is good, and this one is even better because this isn't just a regular Bronco with a smaller engine. This is the Bronco Everglades. I don't know why I needed to spin up the dust to tell you that this is an Everglades, but this is an Everglades, and this is one of the better Broncos that you can buy. Yes, the Raptor is the best one because it's awesome and it can do anything. But the rest of them are pretty good too, but some are better than others. I like the Sasquatch package, but then you go above that and you get the Everglades package. This starts as a Sasquatch, but it gets more. So you can only get the Everglades with the 2.3 liter turbo four cylinder engine. And some of you will be like, oh, that's you know kind of a bummer. And I, I hear your pain and I agree with you as we're crossing water. Um, I agree with you because the V6 is great. And even the, you know, the non-Raptor V6 with its 330 horse, 415, 420 torque, whatever it is, this is still a good engine. This makes 300 horse and it makes 325 pound feet of torque. And that's great. That's the base Bronco engine. That's actually awesome if you think about it, that that's the entry point. Now this isn't an entry point vehicle because as tested, or actually I should say the starting price around is about $55,000 for one of these. So it is not cheap, but in Bronco world, it's not the most expensive, obviously, either. It's near the top. Raptor is still king in many ways, good and bad. So what does it mean that this is a Bronco Everglades? Hold on, big drop here. Gunk, gunk. So what we have here is a, a Bronco that's more suited for crossing the Everglades if you wanted to. It's just, it's just more capable. They've done stuff where they've raised the vent tubes on the axles. There's a factory fitted snorkel. It comes standard with the 35 inch tires, which I think the Sasquatch gets anyways. Um, and then you can fit the uh, four performance winch on the nose of this thing as well. So you get a Bronco that can go through deeper water. It can go into, it can ford 2.9 inches deeper than just a regular Sasquatch. I think it's like 36.4 inches of water fording capability. That's almost three inches more than the Jeep. The Bronco Raptor, I think it's 0.6 inches higher than this, but because it sits taller. <clears throat> So you've got the cool factory integrated snorkel. You've got uh, more properly designed axle ventilation for you know clearing the water. You've got the aforementioned winch, which uses a, a worn winch, a worn winch, which is a weird thing to say when your nose is stuffy. Um, 100 foot line, synthetic. It's a really nice setup. I wish it had the Bluetooth receiver though, instead of the direct connected one. Though with those Bluetooth receivers, there's a slight delay on and off the buttons. Whereas with um, the directly plugged in one, you kind of eliminate that. So think about that if you're shopping for a winch. Uh, and I am for my Montero. But it looks good. I would personally ditch the sticker package on the front fenders. I don't hate it. It's just not for me. Um, I've seen these in eruption green, which is the best color to get in. But area 51 is cool as well. You still get noise from the top. That hasn't changed. Um, but the seats are comfortable. Whatever this material is, is really nice. This has a lower tier sound system. I wish they would throw the higher tier sound system in it because the base Ford sound systems are not great. Uh, the BNO sound system is a huge upgrade in these trucks. But just overall, Bronco Everglades feels good on road, looks good parked sitting still, and then is just more capable over the Sasquatch. So. It's, it's a pretty good offering from Ford with respect to the entire Bronco lineup. If you can't afford a Raptor, and let's be honest, not a lot of people can, but you can you know, 
drop it down 20 grand, 15, 20 grand before markups, you can land in an Everglades and you don't mind that you have less power because it's still plenty of power, you know? Um, this is a heck of a machine. It's, it's awesome to see what the lower power Bronco can do. I've been flinging this thing through the mud. I've already washed it, got it dirty again, washed it, getting it dirty again. And I'm just having a blast with this thing. Every time I drive any Bronco, I really enjoy it. What I should really do is see what like a base, base, base Bronco is capable of, you know, with, with no options, it, you know, not that they're gonna put one of those in the fleet, but that would be really neat to take for a spin and just put th that through its paces because I've only driven, you know, V6s, Raptors, uh, this Everglades, and obviously, yes, they're all very good at what they do and this one is no exception. Um, so I'd like to see what the non anything package Bronco could do. Like, that's what I did with the Bronco Sport, which some of you are like, ah, it's an escape. It's not an escape. It's so much more than that. It's actually fun. And the Bronco Sport is a surprising blast in its own right, especially the Badlands. But I, I borrowed the three cylinder from Ford a while back and I drove it to the top of Santiago Peak here and, I, and it was so comfortable going up the hill. I loved it. Um, so across the entire Bronco family, you know, I don't see a bad choice out there. Uh, I like all of them, including the Bronco Sport. From Bronco Sport on up through Bronco, on up to Bronco Raptor. I have yet to meet a Bronco I don't like. And the Everglades has landed at the list of probably my second favorite out of the whole group. Um, am I missing the bigger engine? A little bit, but you forget about it because 325 pound-feet of torque is great. The steering feel is nice and properly weighted. Um, I don't really have any complaints here. Yeah, I I hope you can find these at MSRP. I don't know if that's possible yet. I, I really don't, um, but it looks cool with the snorkel. The winch on the front is awesome. I wish I had an excuse to use it. It just looks so good. It's the you know iconic brand, the winch, the worn winch, the tag hanging off. It just looks awesome, completes the look. The stance of the truck is great. I prefer four-door Broncos anyway. So this, if this one was in green, it's basically how I'd spec it if you can get the upgraded sound system because the, the base sound system sucks. Um, but where we are with this thing, I love it. I wish I could put this into some more adventurous paces for you, but the big mountain is still closed. Um, so we're gonna have to do with this little fun trail with some mud spots and uh, we'll get out and we'll have some fun. Uh, well, I will, uh, you won't, because I'm the one driving the Everglades. There you go. 2023 Ford Bronco Everglades. It's good to go.